When it comes to weddings, everyone wants to walk the aisle in style. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Just so you know, I hate shopping. You don't like shopping? Only if it's a good deal. Yeah, true, true. We've got to uh, work on Anita's purse strings. I'll work on them. I didn't want to be hands-on. That was the whole thing. You just wanted to pick something and say that's it, right? Bit of a problem. <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh! Weddings are a bride beguiled. Weddings are a venue well styled. Weddings are a spending spree gone wild. Meet Anita and John, just married. The trek to their wedding day was a challenge to get Anita off the fence while still managing to rein in her spending. Let's look back on the events leading up to their big day. My name is Anita. I'm 30 years old and I'm a marketing manager. My fiance, John, is a mechanical engineer. We met 10 years ago when we worked together on a cruise ship. A few years later, we started dating, and that was the moment I knew he was the one. This is the story of how we made it to the altar. Weddings and money are like Anita and John, an inseparable twosome. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on just how much it cost our couple to pull off their big day. For me, uh, the, the uh, Armenian church ceremony was really important because that's part of my background. I knew how important it was for you, and I thought it was a cool thing to do. Careful, John, you can't always sugarcoat the truth. Let's take a look at what it really took to pull off this Armenian matrimonial field trip. When it comes to the wedding planner, ultimately we knew for the day of the wedding, the wedding planner would be helping with all the details, which is the day you really need a wedding planner. Yeah. Luckily for Anita and John, experienced wedding planner Angelique was on hand to help them navigate through the murky waters of their decision making. When a bride and groom hire a wedding planner, we're there to help make their ideas come to life. I'm also there to keep them on budget, and I'm also there to diffuse any problems that arise. So first thing I always like to do when we're starting to talk about wedding planning is just for you to give me an idea of what you see for your day. So what do you like? What don't you like? Well, I think we want it to be as simple as possible. Okay. But of course we want some details that are specific too. <laughs> so simple with details. <laughs> That's really clear. Nice. Yeah. No, okay. Well, what else? <laughs> there, there are key components which are, which are ready, but uh, others which uh, need a little work on. Yeah. Okay, so key components. So you've got your venues, you've got your ceremony. No, no. No yeah. venue no. yet. But we've made calls and we have um, miraculously a few that are available on the date that we wanted. Yeah. Okay. And, and that is very miraculous. Yeah. Yeah. Considering you're three months away. Now, my only concern is what are your numbers? We're up as high as 400 and paring down to... 400? Yeah in three months without a venue secure. Yeah. So really, your numbers are gonna change based on the venue you choose. Yes, definitely. That's a big problem. And venues have a tendency to get more expensive when you're starting to book them this late in the day. Is there a decor and or theme that you would like to see? I'd love an Armenian dinner, oh. but... Uh, I'm thinking... She's thinking cheap. I've got no idea when it comes to paying for things, how much it costs or what's appropriate, so I'm the type of person who throws money at a situation while Anita's the, uh, the, the hard ass who negotiates w um, in terms of whenever we're trying to deal anything. So I usually step to the back at that point and keep my mouth shut so that she, uh, she can do her magic. Just to let you know, I hate shopping. You don't like shopping? Only if it's a good deal. Yeah, true, true. Okay. <laughs> only if it's sale, and only if I have sale time. shopping you like. Yeah. I like, yeah, well. I guess so. Is it going to be a stumbling block for me? That's what I want to um, It won't be a stumbling block. It's just... If we can do it as efficiently as possible, that would be great. Okay. That's where we're hoping you might be able to help us with yeah. that. Yeah. Right? I'd like to be an easygoing bride, basically, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> How about your outfits? Do you have anything pre-picked? I'm assuming it's an idea at this point. Actually, no. I got no. my dress. You have a dress? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and a cake. Um, we're not that picky. Yeah, cake is low on our, our yeah, list of Yeah, we, we don't so. think people even remember cakes a lot of the time, so... Okay, so you have your ceremony, which is great because that's your home church, but the guest number is dependent on the venue. So, so much is dependent on one major thing. Um, that has to be decided. And I think with the timeline, we have to work really hard. So, if I can, I'd like to know what you're working with. 
Lower than this, though. Okay. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Coming up. You know when you look at the same shoe for Me five too. years? You're not wearing these shoes. Wait, hold Definitely had a wedding. <laughs> but it was yeah. an eating kind. It wasn't the fruitcake stuff. So people didn't have to go to the parking lot and throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> comes to spending a ton of money for just one day, it can be a struggle to balance enthusiasm with efficiency. Yeah, uh, and just to let you know, I hate shopping. You don't like shopping? At the end of the show, we'll let you in on what Anita and John bankrolled for their outdoor Armenian wedding. I, I can't believe how easy it was to find my dress, but I definitely can't say the same thing for some of the other accessories, uh, like the shoes. Anita had covered something new, something blue, and for something old, she chose her shoe. You know when you look at the same shoe for Me five too. years? Anita, no. look Wait. at those. Okay, first Hold of all, on, it's style? too yellowish. <laughs> yeah. It's not even off the Okay, white. fine. You can <laughs> afford heels a little higher than that. Yeah, but it meant that she might actually have had to go shopping for them. Generally, everything here is about 100, 129. Right. These ones here are a little bit more expensive because they have leather inside. I just want comfortable and simple. Okay. And it's not in my head that I'm gonna Spend buy a, uh, yeah. a lot on shoes. There's a lot to choose from here. <laughs> Maybe too many choices for someone who hates shopping. Sorry, I'm just not in the mood. I... <laughs> okay. It's a bit high, actually. I think I do want a, a little bit lower. Oh, now this, okay, this feels really low, you know what? It looks like Cinderella was having trouble finding her glass slipper. I don't know if it's, if I'm just not in the right mode, but mm -hmm. nothing's hitting me. There's pretty much over 200 shoes here. Yeah. I was just discouraged, but in the end I found an inexpensive place, so I was able to get it from there. The cake was probably the biggest nightmare of our entire planning. And the worst part was, is it was literally the least important thing for the two of us. So what kind of cake are you looking for? I just want uh, simple, like basically straight, straight, straight edges, cut, smooth everything. And then um, we actually wanted to, we looked into getting um, edible flowers and we just want them to be stuck on the, the flower. What's most important to Anita in every aspect of this wedding is saving money. So in terms of the cake, it is low on our list of priorities. And uh, there's been a lot of debate over what we were going to do for this. I think that luckily today Anita's a little under the weather and very docile, so I got, uh, I got my way this day. What, what's the budget for this? <laughs> in terms of budget, we're, we have a, a little bit of a discrepancy here, but I think we're sort of thinking in the three to five hundred dollar range if we can. like. Uh, We'll see what, what sort of stuff you can offer to us, maybe. I would suggest maybe going with a four-tiered cake, something like that. It'll give That's you lots of I, presentation. It'll look mm -hmm. really nice. Do you do different flavored tiers, or does it have to be one flavor? No, we can mix the flavors. Okay. We do four different flavors. Four different flavors, okay. Yep. Let's do that, too. Yeah. Is that you weird? For, no, 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 but you want four what flavors? We're, uh, well, um... We charge a little bit. We Two flavors is no charge. We're getting to three or four. It's ten dollars. Ten dollars for additional... Yeah, flavors. Plus taxes, obviously. No taxes. No taxes. No, no, oh, very good, no. then. Oh, no taxes? Oh, Anita. <laughs> no, no taxes. No taxes. No taxes. That's music to Anita's ears. So just flavors now. I think that's the next mm. thing to choose. I don't know. Again, it's the decision. Too, too many choices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's that it's that shopping and choices, right? I know, I know. This is not helpful, and especially for poor Anita, because the choices have not been made simple. <laughs> okay, Anita, time to take a bite out of your indecision. I'd say the just to keep it simple, yeah. golden and chocolate. That's what I was thinking, but... Mm -hmm. That sounds perfect to me, actually. When we actually had to buy the cake, I wanted it to look nice. Taste, okay, fine, taste was, was important. What? I would have thought you said price. Oh, first. yeah. <laughs> well, of course. That's like a given. <laughs> <laughs> Our plan was to find a venue really quickly. I was really excited about the distillery venue. I was personally looking for something a little bit more funky, uh, something that no one had done before. Roughly where we're standing right now would be the table, your table layout. Table layout? Looks like Anita is going to need an imagination. This place is so cool, is all I can say, but I, I'm just so worried about... I was trying to be as simple as possible. So now this changes everything. But see, that's the whole point, is that all you have to do is approve it, and other people can... Do it. Do it. Yeah, that's true. So but it's against that shopping element. Yeah. You didn't want to go out and shop and taste things. You just wanted to pick something and say, that's it, right? 
I didn't want to be hands-on. That was the whole thing. I mean, with all the stuff like uh, with you know trials of food and and trials of this and linens and I mean, this it sounds so, so great. But but I think with this, it's one-stop shopping. But it was only one stop along the way to Anita's final decision. What I was really looking for myself was something outdoors, something different, some fresh air, big space, that European kind of country feeling. The uh, reception will take place. Now try to envision that from that wall to the end of this stone wall, a beautiful marquee is installed. Now there's little white twinkle lights that get um, put just in the perimeter of the tent, which looks really, really, really pretty. So the perimeter of the tent is actually fastened right to the top? Yeah, and then it goes right okay. up. Oh, what's in there? That's our uh, cellar and okay. our winemaking facility area. Okay, so the caterer works in that area? In that area, yes. Okay. So there are food brought out from those doors. Okay. We decided to go with the, uh, the winery. The biggest reason was because of the cost. The distillery was a little over our inflated budget. Yeah. We knew that we had a caterer as an option to work with. He's almost a relative of ours. It was a great, great opportunity. And Harry was was great. I mean, not only for the food. Yeah, yeah. And, and saved us a ton of money. Yeah. This is a lot of interesting food. Yeah. So you will be prepping outside where guests can see it? It will be like an open kitchen concept. Yeah, I know we talked about Bastinma. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastinma is stuff. like, yeah. it's stinky. It's stinky? It's like, um, well, it's like prosciutto, except it's aged with garlicky Armenian style paste. You'll be sweating it out the day after. Also, um, Anita had asked me for this uh, specialty slaw, onions, <laughs> parsley. Raw onion or is it? Yeah, it's raw. It's, it's raw. an onion salad, pretty much. We're gonna stink <laughs> by the end of the night. Yeah. That's right, and instead of wine, you can toast with mouthwash. Now, does this include all rentals? No. We have to go to the rental people mm -hmm. ASAP. Can I not be there? No, actually, that's something that you have to be there for because, really, if we're talking about this, you need to make final decision. Okay, I guess I was just hoping that I could just let you guys take care of it. <laughs> no. No easy task for a bride who hates shopping. Harry had so many challenges. They had no working kitchen. They did everything off a of barbecue. The food tasted amazing. It was something that was totally non-traditional. It was just so Euro cute in the thing. I definitely had some days where I was, you know, slightly stressed, slightly worried about certain things, um, overwhelmed by, you know, the amount of money we're spending. So this would be an eight-person table, which is a typical size table. Well, that's, Maybe you've that decided like on that. Tables? That's a 60 oh. inch. Yeah. If you have to, you can add two more and make it a 10-person. Sure. Yeah. People, people, try, people try it. Yeah. People yeah. try it. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I just want to keep it simple. I, I'll think about it and. I'm just, sorry. I'm just going to be devil's advocate. Anita, you're getting married in how many weeks? What month? Are One we month and three weeks. Okay, or so we like need that. to make a decision because you need to order, right? Because they can get ordered right I up from under you. do need at least a month's notice. So we've got to get this finalized now, though. Okay, well, you know what? Exactly. exactly on the tables, I think I just want the same size. Okay. And, like for the entire uh, okay. menu. Now, Anita, that wasn't so hard, was it? I'm comfortable with that if that's good for mm. the sizing for the food. It's yes. nice and heavy too. It's yeah. got some weight to it. I like that. Um, this is this is fine. Like honestly, I, this is where I want to keep it simple. Um, cutlery. Is there anything else in this price range? Or for five cents one? more, you would get um, stainless steel, a little better quality. So yeah, okay. you know what? This is fine, and I know I know John okay. would would want to go with that. Yeah. Coming up. Bit of a problem. <gasps> what was that? Oh my gosh! I control the money and I'm not one to, you know, let go money too easily. So I look for the cheapest way to do things. And we gave, everybody had a camera and just snap pictures and we enjoyed the day. It was our day. You know, it wasn't a cake day, it wasn't the dress or the camera or whatever. It, it was our, our day. day. And that is what it's all about. When it comes to putting together a wedding, in order to stay on budget, it's important to weigh all the options. Oh, no taxes? Oh, Anita. <laughs> no taxes. No taxes. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal how much Anita and John's big day taxed their bank account. The venue was chosen, the caterer selected, and the shoes reluctantly purchased. Had Anita forgotten anything? Oh, yeah. To go shopping for toilets. We were told that we would get two washrooms, yeah. so I thought it was a little bit, it was not necessary. However, the, the point of it was that we needed porta potties. Porta potties? Well, doesn't that just put the SH in shopping? 
We have a few options to show you. This is fancier than my washroom at home, ladies first. <laughs> This is a pretty nice bathroom. This is $500. Well, our prestige double okay. is $750. Well, can I take it for a test drive right now? <laughs> our urinal that's come from Holland, it's our about $95 for the step in. I mean, you get, uh, you, there's a door. It's not on, a, on solid ground. Can but you even get a rent? Oh, look at that. <laughs> so this unit has an onboard generator, which means it has air conditioning. And it's like, and it's like a full-on washroom, isn't it? Yeah. This unit is $1,850. There's no odor that comes out of them, right? No. That's right. That really depends on who goes in. Well, that's the, course. That's the washroom I'll be going into. <laughs> <laughs> Brides only. And how many people at this point do you have invited to your wedding? We're down to 175, but we already have two bathrooms in the place. Do you think that's enough? Not really. <laughs> You're going to have lineups, especially for the women. We do we agree need that we need something. But, uh, we need something. How fancy it's, do we need as well? I would recommend going with the Prestige Double and having the interior washrooms as your backup or just for you and just a bridal party. We've got to uh, work on Anita's purse strings. Purse strings? More like a financial chastity belt. I'll work on her. The morning of the wedding, I woke up and I, I thought, wow, is this it? I couldn't believe that. It felt like a dream that you know, I didn't know if it was happening. I actually went for a run, which made me feel so much better when I was getting ready. I felt kind of like, oh, time's running out. So I kind of felt like I had to focus. Thanks, guys. You guys mean a lot. I was expecting her to be like, ah, but she wasn't. She's uh, pulling herself together. And while Anita calmed her nerves with a morning run, John preferred to get the works done. The morning of the wedding, I woke up extremely early and went and picked up my brother for a nice shave, manicure, haircut. My first haircut in years. You can't really beat this treatment, so maybe that's what it is. I'm just super relaxed. I just show up. That's my job. Do you think Anita knows that she's marrying a metrosexual? <laughs> the couple was relaxed, no but the same couldn't be said for Angelique. We're short two centerpieces or three? Three, three centerpieces. Those three tables. Bit of a problem. Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, what happened? It, my hand was sweaty and it slipped. Here, can I have that one, please? Um, okay, if you can get a broom, sweep that all up, get that put together. If you can save some of those orchids, I can put them in another vase. That'd be fine, okay? And Angelique saved the day, which is good because okay. Cinderella was on her way. Coming up. Sorry, um, the wedding cake, mm -hmm. yeah. it's starting to melt. The booze was under the That's table. That's right. Yeah, my father was the, the so-called bartender. If somebody wanted a drink, he'd pull out a bottle from under the table and give them a shot. And, and that was it. And uh, anyway, it kept the cost down. When it comes to weddings, everyone wants their day to be a smashing success. <gasps> oh, oh, what happened? After all, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter the budget, is it ever enough? Soon we'll let you in on the actual cost of Anita and John's traditional Armenian wedding. If I had to pick a highlight of the day, I, I would say it was seeing you for the first time in the church. Uh, you looked so gorgeous. Seeing your dress for the first time and seeing you and everything, it, you just looked so beautiful. It was, re it was a really special experience for me. Do you take to yourself this woman, Kyle? Do you take this man, John, as your husband? I do, and I am. And from ceremony to banquet, Anita and John joined Armenian tradition with modern elements. Our reception was a dream. Angelique really, really helped us out. She did all the little loose ends that we, we really needed help on. and. Uh, and in good taste, it was great. It was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, except for one chilling moment. Sorry, um, the wedding cake, mm -hmm. yeah. it's starting to melt. Yeah. My only concern is if we're moving it, it might slide. So do you want us to take a chance? Sliding meaning the, the, the tears. layers. OK, sliding to fall. Is it safe? Or it, that's my thing. I don't know how bad it is. Well, let's take a chance. We'll use your expertise, your, your opinion, okay. whatever you think. Okay. Yeah. All right, beautiful. Thank, right. You. Thank you. And with the cake on its way to the cooler, it was time to fire up the barbecue and burn up the dance floor.
I don't know you, I, I couldn't care less what this evening cost. It was awesome, I had a great time. Yeah, but she's, she's the one who controls the money, so, yeah. Let's just hope she doesn't lose control when she sees the bill. The original budget that we gave Angelique was $20,000. The cake was great, it cost $480. The porta potties were definitely a wise investment, and they cost $650. The dress with all the accessories was a low $810. Angelique totally helped us out during the day of and all the planning for the wedding. She was totally worth it, and her fee was $1,900. The venue, including food and alcohol, came to $22,543. What we actually spent on the wedding was $36,516. Which put us over by $16,516. Which was a little bit higher than our target, but it was totally worth it. I kind of expected that from the start. And it was definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the couple is enraptured. Their venue, rustic, and their budget in ruins. The only question left. Would Cinderella have used a porta potty? All right, it's not gonna work. It was either get married or break up, and I wasn't about to let him go. So I said to him, "Let's get married," and uh, he went along with it. Would you spend 20 more years with me? I spent probably uh, double that, and that would be right. 40 more years would be okay. Isn't that cute? <laughs> 